Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a level 1 to 10 vest area guide. Also, the reason I'm doing this guide is because lots of people start this game and they start in Rush Town and they don't, and they don't, they don't know what to do. So it, this video is going to cover all the quests and stuff you have to do from level 1 to 10. Also, make sure to watch this video all the way because if you miss some parts, you might not know what to do. Also, this is only a level 1 to 10 vest area guide, but I will be doing a level uh, 10 to 30 guide and a level uh, 30 to 50 guide after this guide. Also, at the end of this guide, I will be choosing a faction. Anyways, I'm gonna be I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna start the guide. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do right now is um start a new slot. So as you can see here, on the bottom left, I have two new two slots I could start. So I'll just select slot three. I'm gonna choose a new game and then you just click play. And here's the part where you could uh, customize your character, but you don't really have to do it now because um, you could customize your character after this. Okay, so, so now we have just started in Mushtown, and what we want to do is start our first quest. So here's where you go to get your, I mean, here's where you go to start your first quest. You go to this guy here. It's a place called Scarf Re Residence, and then you talk to this guy, uh, Scruff. If you talk to Sc uh, Scruff, you must do his quest, and then his quest is telling you to um, get two chicken eggs. So to get chicken eggs is you must equip the stick in your inventory, and then once the stick in your inventory is equipped, you must hit chickens until they drop the eggs. They mostly drop feathers, but in rare occasions they do drop eggs. So hit them until they drop two eggs. Okay, so once you hit chickens hard enough and then you collect two eggs by pressing F, um, you must return back to Scruff and then talk to him and click um, complete uh, quest, and then he should give you stuff. Okay, now you go back to Scruff and then you do his uh, other quest, and then Scruff should give you an, a note, and then he tells you to bring the note to the mayor, and that's what you have to do. So you go back to Mush Town and bring the note to the mayor. Okay, once you got to the mayor, all you have to do is talk to the mayor and uh, click complete quest. And then the mayor should give you some um, experience and you should get your first level. Okay, so we are all leveled up now. So we go to skills and then we can pick, uh, we, can either we can either pick strength, vitality or intelligence or dexterity. Uh, strength gives you like a... Um, Power and more damage, vitality gives you more health, intelligence gives you more intelligence to cast spells, and the dexterity gives you more speed and stamina and agility. I think we'll go uh, two strength and uh, one dexterity. Uh, the first ability you should pick is the double slash. Okay. Okay, so once you have done that and picked your skill and ability, you have to open this chest over here. Okay, so then after that, you have to do this quest called Abig Abigail's Quest. For this quest, you have to hit the, the apple tree, which I will show you how to get there. You hit it until it uh, drops 12 apples. And then here's how you get there. Okay, so once you've hit the apple tree for long enough, it should have dropped uh, 12 apples. And once it has dropped 12 apples, you must go back to Abigail and complete her quest. Okay, so now you should go to this shop woman here, and she should have some good stuff for you. We will be getting, uh, the boots. Okay, then go to your inventory and equip your boots. Okay, so now we have to do Xero's quest, and Xero's quest is a bit hard to find, so here's how you get there. Okay, now, so if you find this guy, you will do his quest. Okay, so now to do this guy's quest, all you have to do is like find one chest and open it, then come back to this guy and complete his quest. So first you go to a Scarf's house, and then there should be a well in Scarf's house. So now all you have to do is just kind of go in the well, and then follow that path in the well, and then there should be a treasure chest at the end, and then exit at the end. Once you have exited, go back to Xero, and then complete his quest. Okay. 
Okay, now go back to Mushtown and go down here. And then open this silver chest here, and then it should give you like a good sword, and then equip the sword. Okay, now do the mayor's quest, and he wants you to uh, kill some mushrooms in the mushroom forest. Um, and to get to the mushroom forest, you have to follow the cobble path. So here's how you get to the mushroom forest. Oh yeah, before that, make sure to, to uh, start this quest over here. I'm going. Okay, once you got here, go right. Okay, now for the mayor's quest, all we have to do, to do is kill 10 baby mushrooms and one uh, normal adult mushroom. To kill. These are the shrooms. All we need to do is kill one shroom though. Also, make sure to be uh, picking up the stuff that the, the shrooms and mushrooms are dropping because they could drop some really good stuff. Like, And also make sure to open the chests around here because there's like good stuff like basic scrolls and uh, mush coins. So make sure to get those. Okay, and now for, for the Wheels Woes quest. This one is a little challenging. So from the mush mushroom and shroom pit, you must go up here. And then don't hit this mushroom because it could bounce you back. And then after that, just keep going straight over here. And then once you've found this little hole here, just go in this little hole here. Then you should uh, click C to pick it up, and there should be this animation here. And you should have completed the Wheel of Woes quest. Okay, now, once you um, have uh, killed 10 baby mushrooms and one adult or, you know, medium shroom, go back to the mayor and uh, complete his quest. Also, you must um, go back to the wheel guy and complete his quest too. Okay, now go back to the mayor and do his other quest. His other quest is telling you to kill 10 shrooms, and you have to collect 20 um, red mushrooms and uh, 20 mushroom spores. Uh, red mushrooms are dropped from shrooms, and um, mushroom spores are dropped from baby mushrooms. Once you have uh, killed 10 shrooms and collected 20 red mushrooms and uh, 20 red mushroom spores, uh, go back to the mayor and complete the quest. Okay, now go to the Mush Town shop, sell your old stuff, and get the best uh, stuff that you could get right now. Okay, and now what you want to do is, you see this house over here? It's It should be right beside Scarf's house. You should go there, and then there should be a lady there. You should accept her quest. Okay, so before you do the old lady's quest, go to this guy, accept, and um, start his quest. For this quest, you'll have to kill the big elder mushrooms and collect eight of their beards. Every time, every time you kill one, it drops one beard. So here's how you get to the Elder Mushrooms. Okay, so now go here to this big tower, Tower. so to go there just follow the road, then turn left and you should find this tower. It's called a uh, crumbling tower, Ta yeah, crumbling tower. You make sure to get all the chests here, because there's some good loot on these chests. Now here's where, we, where you'll have to do a bit of some parkour. So you go here, make sure to have tabs lock on, you should just go up here. Go here. Go to this gray thing here. Go to the next gray thing. Go to this thing here. Go to this gray thing here. Then go here. Then go here like that. And go up here. And up here, and there, you should be on top. Pretty hard, you might not do it on your first time, but if you really get a parkour, you should be able to do it. And then get all these chests here. So I recommend just like magic missiling them or rock throwing them, because they do lots of damage to you. 
Okay, so once you've got eight Elder Mushroom Beards, go back to this guy and complete his quest. Okay, now we have to do the Old Lady's quest, and for this quest, we have to go from Mushtown to Nilgarf. So here's how you get um, from Mushtown to Nilgarf. Also, I'm going to speed the video up, because if I won't speed it up, it will take a while. <laughs> Okay, so once you're here, you cannot go through here. I'll show you why. See, this guy kills you if you go here. You have to be at least over level 7 to go there without getting killed. But, if you go, you could do this. You could go around him. Like so. And, uh, see, we don't get killed. So anyways, let's continue on our journey. Okay, here we are, the main city. So, um, right now we have to go to that guy to do his quest. Yeah. So you go in here, this barbershop building, enter, and then talk to this guy, uh, complete his quest, and there we go, we just completed it. Okay, so once you're here at the bank, go right, and take a left, and it, this should take you to the great crossroads. So, Okay, so now what you want to do in the Great Crossroads is go to these uh, wheat fields here, and there should be a bunch of like scarecrows. Now be warned, at level 6, which is where I am right now, scarecrows can like one, or, one tap or I think two tap you. So yeah, try to not get hit. So now we're going to grind here from level 6 to 10, and here's a really good trick uh, you could do if you don't want to get hit by the scarecrows. Here's a trick. You make them chase you, and then you go over this wall. Like this. And you go over this wall. And then you could hit them, but they can't hit you, so... Just do this till, till you get to level 10. Okay, so now once you're level 10, uh, here's where you want to go. So you want to go to Seaside Path. And now here's how you get to Seaside Path from uh, here. So go to this old lady here and do her quest. So for this quest, you want to kill as much hogs as you can. So hogs drop a uh, hog meat and a bag of sugar. So you want to get eight uh, hog meat and one bag of sugar. So once you have killed enough hogs and they have dropped um, eight hog meat and one bag of sugar, go back to the lady and complete her quest. Okay, so now go back to the same person and start uh, the second quest. So for this quest, you'll have to go to Warrior Stronghold and give uh, her son the pie that she just made. And to get to Warrior Stronghold, you'll need to pass through Redwood Pass. So here's how you get to Warrior Stronghold. Also guys, in uh, the Redwood Pass, 
do not get hit by the golems, because if you're level 10 like me, or like level 16 or something like that, any low level, the golems could one-tap you with their rocks. Also, they throw their rocks, so yeah, just be careful. Uh, here's a clip of me getting one-shotted by a golem. Okay guys, so here we are, the Warrior Stronghold. This is where we will choose our faction and where we will complete the Baker's Quest. So okay, so to complete the Baker's Quest, go to this guy and uh, click Accept a Reward or Complete Quest and the quest should be finished. Okay, now all we have to do is choose a faction. So I'm going to be choosing Warrior, but you could uh, choose Hunter or Mage. So anyways, here's how you uh, become a Hunter. So to be a hunter, you have to go, you have to be in Port Fidelio, which is this place. Follow this path here. And then once you see this building, just go on it. And then there should be a second floor on this building. And in the second floor, there should be this guy here. So just talk to him and say, yes, I want to join hunters. So that is how you become a hunter. And now here's how you become a mage. So if you want to be a mage, you have to be in the Tree of Life. And just take this warping thing here. And then you should be next to this building here. Go in the building, and there should be this guy here. And all you have to do is talk to him and say, yes, I want to join mages. And that is how you be a mage. So for warrior, it's pretty straightforward. It's this guy um, at the end of this big room. So all you do is go up to him, say, yes, I want to be a warrior. And there, you should be a warrior. Okay, now we're a warrior. Also, now if you go back to, to your skill book, you will have like more abilities, you'll have warrior abilities. So I'm just gonna put a, a point into this ability here. Okay, and then there's this uh, new shop here in the warrior stronghold. This shop only sells warrior stuff. So like every uh, faction has its unique shop, and this is the unique shop for warrior, so all these stuff can be equipped uh, by any warrior. Okay guys, that'll be it for my level 1 to 10 Vesteria guide, so subscribe if you uh, want to see more Vesteria content. Also, I spend 3 hours um, recording this and editing this, so I'm, I, will, I will really appreciate if you are subscribed. Also, um, comment down below in the comment sections what you want to see next. I will try to do more Vesteria videos, but if you want something else, just let me know down in the comment section. Okay guys, I think that'll be all for the video, so I hope you enjoyed.